It's for cold. No, 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 no. No. No good? But then it's a How big is it? How big? That's for good for donkey? Yeah, that's what she's even telling me. Okay. Yeah. I think she said that that is good for a donkey. Yeah, for a donkey. <laughs> oh, sorry. some of the mud huts that are built and uh, they try and make it as much a home as possible and always the ever-present UNHCR tent. We're in the uh, village of Narama, which is just outside of Baha'i. Um, it's a, actually a cluster of four families, all living within the same vicinity. And this is what a, a typical hamlet would look like in Sudan. They're all part of the same tribe, the Zagawa tribe. And uh, they, uh, they're mainly... Uh, uh, animal herders, sheep and goats and camels. Well, this is what a village on the other side would look like. It's on the border, it's just a few kilometers away. Mm -hmm. And it's exactly the same people. This is probably one of the smaller ones in Darfur. There were some huge villages with uh, thousands of people. And uh, from what I've heard, most of them have been destroyed. And that's uh, where you hear the story of the helicopters and jet planes coming in, bombing these huts and then the janja weed riding in and burning everything that can be burnt. From what we've heard is the Sudanese military would come and I don't know if you can get a, a, a good sense here but right here this cluster is about 15-20 houses they're all very close together uh, so the military would come, they would surround the camp helicopters would come in uh, bombard the camp and then the military would allow the Janjaweed, uh, the men on camels, come in, kill the men, uh, rape the women, kill the children. And you can see that it would, it's very easy to burn down these communities. Uh, the entire uh, community is pretty much made of, of, of flammables, wood and, and straw roofs. So uh, very easy to uh, to burn down these villages. Okay. Okay. You say the most obtained before coming from Sudan. The most obtained now because um, because of the war they stopped all that thing. So now they get the small tin from Chad here. So no goods are coming in from Sudan? No. Not Everything yet. is just mm, whatever comes from, from Chad. Chad. More okay. expensive? Uh, more expensive here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, they have to buy water. Okay. 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 Before? I'm not going to go to Chad. I'm going to go to Chad. Before? They met, uh, they have uh, grass for the animals. Now, when the refugee came, the refugee brought also the camels. 
or many of the they came in, they're animals okay uh have this so that came here and spread that disease on the chemist. So now many chemists are died. This here, I mean, eight people wait here about one, one year. The situation is you no know, bad situation. About food, no problem about food. Water, no problem. But the security is very, very bad. People are not getting out from this camp about one kilo or two kilo because there are local people here entering on this camp and attack people and anything. For this case, our situation is very bad. Uh -huh. Why is it that local? So you say the security is bad because uh, about one kilometer outside the camp, local people are, are attacking refugees. Why is it that they're attacking refugees? The, the local people attack all the people here because they didn't know the problem. But at 9 and the evening and 80 times they were in prison. Uh -huh. And enter and, and, and men and women also to take people and kill and attack and so on. Uh -huh. This case is very, very bad. Uh -huh.